I live in a solar home. We have several computers in the house. We have a, two or three large TVs, uh, VCR, all the capability, uh, DVD player, everything that you would think that a, that a modern, average American family would have. Our house is uh, uh, 6,000 watts of solar power. Uh, there's four kilowatts of power on the main part of the house. At the standing seam roof is a 4,000 watt solar array, and then there's 2,000 watts of solar on the garage, along with a couple of hot water panels. Uh, we have all the hot water we need. Uh, but you also notice all the windows are open and facing south. That's the passive solar design of the house, and we're actually heating the house now. The sun has been heating the house all day long. Now it's about 28 degrees now, and has been for much of the day. And yet the temperature inside the house is a balmy 66 and it's warmer now than it was this morning when I uh, opened the blinds and made sure the heating was off because I knew we didn't need to heat the house today. We have whole roof thin film technology uh, that is in keeping with the aesthetic of, of say a standing seam roof which is employed widely in Virginia. Uh, we used the standing seam technology and put a thin film product on it and it's a beautiful roof. All the energy that that house has generated from the solar, about 24 kilowatt hours of energy, have flown out to the electric grid, providing power to power, power other people's heat pumps to heat their houses. The point that I'm making about this is that this house is the solution to the peak grid power problems that we have on an overloaded grid. It's pumping power out when other people need it, and it's not needing it itself because it's utilizing the resources of the sun. If one out of four homes in all of Virginia were solar powered, we could get by on less than uh, half the infrastructure that we currently have in right now to provide our energy uh, to, meet, to meet our electricity demands. We chose basically to give up certain things. I, I said, okay, an option for me would be a cherry kitchen or a granite countertops or uh, a two-story foyer. Um, just think about the things that couples sit with, with a builder and they decide on in building their homes. Um, we basically said we've got a certain amount that we're going to be planning for and so we optioned out whatever we didn't have to have and we optioned in what we really wanted and we, we used the solar as an option basically. Uh, we didn't pay a dime for it. Our banks financed the additional cost and we paid the bank back out of our energy savings which means that no cost to us we're helping Virginia Power meet their peak Virginia Power doesn't need to spend a lot of money, they just need to educate people how easy it is to use solar energy to meet the peak and then they would need to build a transmission line.